Hi everyone. Now let's look at the types of operations which are supported in intermediate code generation part. So intermediate code generation phase support the seven types of operations. The first operation is the assignment of operation. So it is nothing but an assignment operation. Okay. So on the left side one variable is present on the right side another variable is present and the right side variable contains some value which will get assigned by variable on the left hand side okay so this is the simplest uh, operation which are supported in the intermediate code generation phase the second type of operation is x is equal to or x assigned y operation z so op depicts operation so here op represent operation maybe it is addition operation or multiplication or some any other operations so y and z first have to evaluate it and then the result will be assigned to the variable x understood okay now the third operation is unary operation so here z variable z is a variable and on this variable I have to apply a unary operator okay so unary operator might be might be plus plus or uh, increment or decrement or any other unary operator and finally we have to assign this result to the variable x which is present on the left hand side so this will op this uh, operator is it is operator this operator is binary okay and this operator is unary operator unary operator fourth operation is conditional operation so if x it is a relational operator if x relational operator if x relation to y then go to some line of code l represent line of code so this particular operation will perform only on the based on the condition part so if the condition is evaluated to be true then this particular line of code go to the l part okay so it is conditional operator conditional go to but nowadays uh, we cannot use uh, we we are not using go to in uh, any programming language initially in uh, early days early days C programming language uses go to statement but somehow we can use uh, other concepts uh, in, in place of go to okay so what I mean to say if you have some if you have some condition then based on the condition you will uh, move to any line of code in a program next operation is unconditional means without any condition we can jump to any line of code in a program so this is unconditional go to unconditional go to the next sixth of, uh, operation is for array operation so a of i i is the subscript here index used for array a and x is nothing but a variable so for any location i we can assign some value of x in the array so you can use either array a of i either on the left hand side or either on the right hand side right hand side okay but the meaning is different here x is assigned to the location i but here the uh, location i which contains some value is assigned to the variable y and the last seventh operation is used for addressing so in, ge uh, in general uh, we used pointer or address operator in c programming language and in other programming languages also so c programming language star uh, uses star for pointer and ampersand symbol for addressing operator so these two operations are supported in intermediate code generation as well okay so x is equal to star p means we assign the value which is pointed by p and this value is assigned to variable x which is present on the left hand side and on 
the next line represent we assign the address of x to the variable y so here i assign the address and here i assign the value okay both are different so you have to be careful so this seven operations are supported in intermediate code generation phase okay in the previous video uh, i told you there are uh, two forms which are supported in intermediate code generation one is the linear form in linear form there are two categories first is the postfix and second is the three address code and in tree form there are also two categories one is the syntax tree and other is the directed acyclic graph apart from this uh, tree and uh, linear form intermediate code generation is also represented in three forms one is the quadruple second is the triple and third is the indirect triple indirect triple so these three representations are generally used for used uh, are generally uh, uh, conceptualized in terms of memory and whereas uh, the linear form and tree form are used for the representing the other concepts also so in the next video we will see an example related to quadruple triple and indirect triple okay